Hello Gunpla fans, this is Joe of Joe's Gunpla here with another video and some news it was just announced about the new Gundam series called uh, G Teketsu uh, which means uh, Gundam Iron Blood Orphans or something like that. Uh, there is a video clip on Gundam Info uh, on their YouTube channel. Uh, it's about a minute and a half, a little longer than that. Um, I like the animation style, um, and uh, there's no dialogue, it's just music, uh, but you get a good look at the character design, the mechanical design, and you get uh, some indications of what the plot might be. Uh, it seems as if it's going to be some sort of uh, aristocratic society uh, at odds with uh, like a war-torn uh, population. Just, you know, they're poor and desperate, and they're in the military of some kind. I don't know, it looks really cool. Um, the mech designs, I like the mechanical designs. I, almost all of them. Uh, the little tank things that run around in, in the clip look really cool. Um, the mass-produced, uh, grunt units called Krays. Um, they look really nice. They look almost like they belong with uh, Gundam Age. Uh, and I liked, I liked those designs. Uh, it looks like it could be a spin-off of like the Adele or even like the um, oh, what's it called? I have it nearby. The G-Axis. Um, something similar to that. Um, especially in the legs. Really cool designs. Um, Gundam guys got some uh, uh, one picture up of a whole bunch of the kits that are coming out. Uh, there's a pretty big lineup already of 1144 scale kits. Uh, looks like they're going to do um, add-on components like uh, weapons packs and things like that. So they're going to continue that trend uh, that they did with uh, build fighters and a little. Well, I mean they had the the uh, space pack or whatever for the G self. So it looks like they're going to continue that trend. The 1 100th scale line is coming back for this series. They already have the main Gundam uh, lined out to come out in 1 100th scale. It has a full inner frame, which, I mean, if you look at the mechanical design, it would be kind of. Uh, I don't know. At the stage in which Gumpla is at, it would be very disappointing if they didn't have uh, that inner frame built in for the 1 100 scale kit. Uh, the weapons packs look cool. My one issue so far is that the Barbados Gundam, the main Gundam itself, uh, I, as it stands now, I don't like the design. Um, I think it's kind of weird kind of very alien looking, which isn't necessarily bad. Uh, the the turn A looked very strange. Um, to me, the Exia, when I first saw it, I thought it was hideous. And then it really grew on me, and now it's one of my favorite designs. So saying right now that I don't like the design of the Barbados, it could change very quickly after episode one. Um, so I don't want to make a, a huge judgment call there. But I think my main issue with it is not that it looks so weird, it's that it doesn't seem to fit in with the rest of the mechanical design that you see in that clip. So, I guess what I'm saying is it looks very out of place in the universe that is shown in that minute and a half, minute 45 seconds. At the same time, we've only seen a minute and 45 seconds of video, and no indication as to what exactly the plot's going to be. So, it's all up in the air. Just initial reactions. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, from the clip and the design so far, I think it's going to be a really good addition to the Gundam franchise. Um, it looks like it's going to be a completely new timeline which I'm fine with. I don't care if it's AU, UC, a continuation of Seed. I don't even care if it was in the Age line. It looks good. The story looks like it could be very cool. 
uh, but we'll have to wait and see. So I just wanted to give my first impressions um, since everything was just announced tonight. Uh, and that's it. So until next time, guys, happy building, be good to each other, and stay tuned.